1953, my mother died of cancer when I was eight years old. In 2014, my daughter died of cancer when she was 40 years old and my grandson was eight years old. She fought cancer for 12 years. In that 12 year period, I made donations to the American Cancer Society in hopes that in the very near future, their efforts would find a cure for cancer. They didn't, my daughter died. Shortly thereafter, she, I went to Atlanta, Georgia to meet with the American Cancer Society to find out how I could help them find a cure for cancer. I met with their number two in command, Dr. Otis um, Bradley. He was a chief medical officer. Uh, I spent the afternoon with him. He actually took me to a nice lunch, and I was on their team. I came home, and I, I had realized that my, uh, my fraternity brother, John Seffron, had three year, two years prior been the CEO and had been with them for 23 years. I Googled him. I found out that the year before he left, he had made $2.4 million. I thought that was a little excessive. But having been a retired financial advisor, I knew how to find their tax return and find out the circumstances. So I looked up their tax return. It's a, a Form 990. You can find it. I went to their website. I saw that on their website, they said that they gave 78% of everything that they collected um, to their cause. I thought, that's good. Then I dug into the tax return. I want to put the American Cancer Society out of business. I believe they're a scam. They scammed me. They're scamming you. And I want you to understand how it's happening. So stay with this video. Uh, I'll then share with you, once I put them out of business, how I want to disrupt the nonprofit industry and bring it up into the 21st century and introduce technology and let's eliminate these scams. Stay with me. <clears throat> Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. A look at their tax return will tell you that they raised in 2018 769 million dollars. Um, that was up, down in 2019 to 720. It says on their website, as I'll show you, that they give 78% of what they make to uh, their cause. And that it also then goes on to say that they gave $147 million for research. Well, that's only 19% of what they raised. That wasn't what I was led to believe. I would ask you, is that what you were led to believe? That 19% of what they make actually goes to finding a cure for cancer. I thought that's what the American Cancer Society was. So let's look at it. Let's look at their tax return, and then let's look at their, um, at, at their website and see exactly what they're telling us, and then what, we're, what is the truth. Let's start with their website. Okay, here we are on the American Cancer Society's webpage. And as you read it there, it says, resources allocated to program services totaling 78% of American Cancer Society's resources include 147 million invested in cancer research. We know that is true. Uh, that that is a number that we verified on their tax return that actually 140 uh, 170 million goes to their cause 147 of it in million it then goes on to say that 269 million is invested in patient support that in fact is employee salaries and benefits it then says 100 and 4 million is invested in prevention and education. 
there again, that's employees and benefits. 63 million invested in treatment. Um, that may be part of the 170 that is part of their cause. Um, and then it says that resources allocated to supporting services total 22%. That we know is not true. 36 million, they say, is used for fundraising. Um, we actually see that uh, professional fundraising was, I don't exactly remember what that number was, but it was in other expenses, which total 243 million. And then they say they spend 130 million spent on fundraising expenses. Uh, we did see that they did have, that was also part of the 234. What I'm getting at here is this is a fabrication. This is a, a, a an accountant's maneuvering of the numbers to make it look like that 78% of what they collect goes to their cause. Okay, as a wait, re recap, they're spending 269 million on uh, patient support. They're spending uh, 104 million on uh, prevention and education. They're spending 63 million on uh, treatment, and um, they're spending uh, 36 million on um, management and personal expenses, personnel expenses. That seems pretty efficient, but let's look at the tax return. Okay, this is the American Cancer Society's tax return. And as you can see, they've been in business since 1922. They are showing here that they have uh, 5,160 employees and 1,120,651 volunteers. It reads like most tax returns. Here is your Contribution, this is donations made by the general public of $713 million. They made another $57 million off of their investment income. This is basically real estate as well as securities that they get dividends and interest on. So their total income in uh, 2018 was $769,888,000. Thousand. We'll round, round it off to $770 million. They gave grants. These are grants to um, laboratories, to uh, universities of $170,241,000, which represents 22% of what they made. You'll see in a bit on their website, they say that's 78% that goes to their cause. But the next uh, entry, is their salaries and other in compensation for employees. That's $328,605,000. They then give a, an additional $11,588,000 for professional fundraising. That's, that is, they pay someone other than their employees $11,600,000. Those two numbers amount to 42% of this three, 700, uh, or $770 million. Then they spend another $232 million, or 31%, on other expenses. And you can see then uh, they aren't giving 71%. Now, I know what they are telling us is that, if you, you'll see on their website, that they teach us about cancer, they alert us about cancer, and that's what these 5,160 employees uh, are paid to do. So they consider all of this as a part of their cause, when in fact what they are is a money-making machine that gives 22% of what they make to any resemblance of finding a cure for cancer. They also accumulate money. That's this, this number here, one billion um, dollars that they have sitting in investments and in assets in real estate that they make that fifty-seven million a year off of. Now, 
you and I are under the impression that they, in fact, raise this money for the purpose of uh, curing cancer, when in fact, it appears to me, they raise this money for the purpose of, pay, of paying their employees, paying their executives. Uh, as I told you, they pay their CEO $1.1 million. They have 12 employees that make between $350 million or $350,000. exactly how they spend their money, unlike the uh, website where they say 78% of their money is actually going to uh, their cause. It is not. Uh, now, they can figure it in their mind, and apparently they have convinced their accountants that this is a legitimate report on their website, but I do not believe it is, and that's why I think these people need to go out of business. As I dug deeper into it, I found that, yes, they paid their executives heavy wages. In fact, their CEO, um, Gary Reddy, uh, makes $1.1 million a year, but don't beat up on him too bad. Uh, the CEO of Morial Sloan Kettering makes $5.7 million. Um, City of Hope CEO makes $3 million. Uh, your um, American or your heart American Heart Association makes 2.5 million. So these, it's not just the American Cancer Society. These people have created a business, and that's what it is, a business to support themselves. The American Cancer Society has brought closely close to 5,000 employees and 1.2 million volunteers. Now, I would ask you, if you and I raised $769, $770 million, would we really need 5,000 employees to distribute that money for cancer research, to, to find a cure for cancer, if in fact we had taken charge of it and we had had some expenses to to uh, run our organization, could we, out of the one, the seven hundred and seventy million, could we have gotten six hundred million of it into the hands of the researchers and the researchers and the laboratories and the hospitals who are working to find a cure for cancer? And if, in the twelve years that my daughter had had cancer, that I made donations, might they have found a cure? If, in fact, they had spent that $600 million a year for finding a cure, might that have happened? Could we have done a better job with 10 people? I think so. So where am I going with this? I'm not quite sure. I've done a several videos where I've said I would like to bring together a group of celebrities much as they did for the Vax concert. That was several weeks ago. They had a two-hour concert on TV, and they raised $302 million to buy vaccines for people who can't afford a vaccine. Do you think that's more efficient than the American Cancer Society, who raises 
seven seven hundred and seventy million, and yet only gives twenty two percent of it to their cause. All the rest of it goes to their employees and to organizations such as KPMG, who they sent eighteen million dollars to in twenty. 18 for what I appears to me to be a consulting business. If you look at the donations that they made to laboratories, to hospitals, none of them reached as much as they sent to um, R.E. Donnelly Printing. They've sent $5 million that year to R. E. Denley Printing. They sent another 8.2 million to Markle Incorporated for fundraising. But none of their their laboratories or their their universities or their hospitals got anywhere near that amount of money. What is this all about? Are we being scammed? Is this is this a facade? that has grown. They've been in business. They've been doing this since 1922. Are they the only ones? No, they're not. They're not. This is a fallacy in our system, and it needs to be corrected. I want to be a part of it. So I'm going to ask you, this is what the legacy that I want to be to leave behind. I want to disrupt this nonprofit industry. It is a ripoff. It, yeah, it, it employs a lot of people, but put them to work for, for what they are actually saying they're doing. You do not need 5,000 people to give away $770 million. I think I can do it for le with less than 20. So what I want from you is if you're an influencer, if you're a, a celebrity, reach out to me. Let's build this. I don't know how it will structurally be built, but I want to be a part of it. I want this to be my legacy, and I want your help, okay? So if this is what you want to see happen, if you want to see the American Cancer Society and other charities disrupted, give me a thumbs up. That'll be your vote. If you want them to continue to work this way, give me a thumbs down. That'll give me a clue. And then reach out to me, leave something in comments, give your input to this. I think this is important. I think this is something that you and I can do, and I want to be a part of it. So that's my take. That's why I want to put the American Cancer Society out of business, because they ripped me off, and they've been ripping you off, and they continue to rip people off. All right, it's a scam. Um, I've vented my anger and we'll move on from there.